Uh, if I don't play, um, just something to, just to share with y'all. If I don't play, I'm upstairs after every game getting shots up. Um, I'm getting my work in every day. So all I can do is control what I can control, and that's staying ready. And um, it's not going to happen like this every night, but shots were able to go in. But it's a testament to the work, like I've been saying before. Did you have a sense that he can call your number tonight, give him the back-to-back, give him probably go to the bench early? Yeah, when uh, when I um, knew that Will was going to be out, I knew there was an opportunity for me to potentially play tonight. And uh, just staying ready every game, but uh, a little more wired, knowing that uh, there was a real opportunity for me to get in tonight. How do you think your presence has been through being a great defender whenever you step on the floor, the energy on that side of the ball is so good and so consistent? Do you feel like your three-point shooting is underrated? Is that something that people might not know that you do really well and you've done really well? Yeah, um, I was I – was, Trying to figure out what was one of the um, stigmas against me, you know, obviously uh, bouncing in and out of the league. Um, and the question mark, which I found out kind of this year, was uh, the ability to shoot the three. Um, I was a 40% shooter in college, so uh, I'm not quite sure why. It's always been a uh, lack of opportunity, not really the production. So um, it's definitely something that's that's been underrated, and a lot of teams are giving me open looks. and. I'm grateful for that because um, those are just higher percentage shots for me. You found out that that was something that made people questioning about you. Did you work on that more? Did you try and make that more known? Or what was the difference? Well, um, the league has changed a lot over the last few years. Um, shooting more threes now than ever. Um, teams are shooting 60, 65, 50 plus shoot, uh, threes a game. So I know that's a big area uh, of the game today. So I just want to make sure that um, and the limited amount of opportunities that I am getting, I'm being efficient with my shots. David, when you see Moses Moody and Jordan Poole going off on the bench, or like when you're sitting on the bench, are your mm-hmm. eyes like lighting up? Like that's my assignment. Like I can take that assignment. Um, well, we we try to defend by committee. Um, Austin did a pretty good job tonight as well. Um, so uh, I, I look forward to every challenge. Um, I look look forward to guarding whoever's hot, whoever is their toughest cover. Um, but again, I can only control what I can control. If my number's called, I go out there and play with that energy and fire. Um, yeah. Davon, how do you continue to go about earning trust uh, through the group? Just when the, when the lights aren't on, and just doing the work that you can while you're there. Again, that's just um, the things that are done behind closed doors, the amount of shots and work that we're putting in. And shout out to our PD staff. They do a great job of getting us right, working on certain things to, to thrive out there when we do get our opportunities. Davon, you um you went against uh, Michael Porter one-on-one mm-hmm. uh, earlier this week. Mm-hmm. How did it look to you? Mike looked really good. Um, still so so tough to cover, just being 6'10 and being, being able to shoot the way he does. Uh, I'm excited for him to return. Um, but he looked good. Shot still looks pretty good. And... Um, just with more reps, I'm sure that he'll be able to fall right in line and, and get back out there and help us. Whether you're on the bench or playing, how would you describe what your team from Nicole looked like? Flat out amazing. I mean, um, to come out tonight and did he have another triple double tonight? Yeah. It's just, it, it, it's uh, Monte and I were talking about it yesterday. We're kind of getting numb to the amount of. Just, just how easily he does it, and how effortlessly he does it. Um, that was last night, and then to come back and do it again tonight on the back to back, he's just an incredible player. And then uh, to me, he'll be the MVP again this year. What do you think of um, Jeff Green's chase shot block? Oh, Jeff, Jeff, I gotta figure out what Jeff has got going on. I need that, I need that athleticism. But no, just, just never giving up on a play, and uh, those are the type of plays that that win games, you know, especially. Uh, when we were having a tough time defending them, those are those are big plays and big moments that that big build character going forward, not just for this game. Yeah, that's a great, that's a great. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.